I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Z Garcia. Jello hey, everybody. Hello again, Jello. Hello, I'm Sam. Now, some of you might be wondering where our footage is from Time Stories. What was it called? Art. The cold, deep cold. <laughs> I don't remember what it was called. The last one we did. Oh, uh, expedition. Expedition. Uh, frozen place. <laughs> no, expedition. Anyhow, R or something. It was an R word. Anyway, our footage got all scrambled from that one for various reasons, but we're back. We're gonna give this In another black. shot. But this one is the next expansion. Kind of. This is the fifth scenario now for the game, right? Is that the fifth expansion? It's or the sixth scenario, the fifth, fifth expansion. expansion. And this one is Lumen Fide. I know that it takes place in 1492, Ooh. I think, or something like that. Columbus sailed the ocean blue. No, 1419. Oh. Columbus has not yet sailed. So that's pretty much all we know. I have, I've deliberately not spoiled I myself. don't know anything. But if you're watching this, we're going to spoil this. And I've we are likely... We are likely also... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Going to mention spoilers from the other ones. We might, just in casual conversation, yes. And I'm not going to try not to do that, really. Yeah. Um, so in the first one, is, okay, um, but <laughs> here we go. Are you ready? Bob's back. Bob! Hey, buddy! Um, Bob's my favorite person. Just as you enter the transfer room, all the screens light up. Lara's face appears upon one of them. Hi, Lara. Who's Lara? She's the little computer that talks to you. Ah. Hello, agents. Bob seems to be late. I'm going to start the briefing without him. Bob is dead. Bob's going to be... <laughs> Bob angry. is never late, fellas. As you can see, Transfer Room 17 is rather special. It contains a quantum reclo re reliquary. During your training, you were told that it was impossible to bring back an object from your missions. This is generally the case, but Bob bursts in a room. Thank you, Laura. I'll take over from here. I thought he was dead. That's not, that's not the real Bob. Bob is dead. Bob stares at you and barks. <laughs> He's clearly gone insane. <laughs> <laughs> it says that. It does not. No. Not in your caissons yet? Come on. Get a move on. I hate Bob so much. I know. Bob is a jerk. Bob's a good guy, fellas. All right. The mission. Your receptacles are part of a delegation charged with accompanying... Mikel Daly, uh, it's some French name, the legate <laughs> of Pope Martin V, <clears throat> missioned to attend a secret gathering of Christian military orders. Mikel will be your key to infiltrating the religious factions there because, and this is precisely the purpose of your transfer, a strange stone seems to arouse everyone's interest. We're looking for the infinity stones, yo. It doesn't say that. Your Suck. goal huh? is to locate the stone before them and bring it back here. You will also discover the new travel procedure set up by the TTD, the Transfer Technical Direction. 10 TU for the first run, 20 for the second, 30 for the third, and the following runs. Be vigilant. It radically changes the course of a mission. Everyone to your stations. Okay. I understand that this is a board game, but Bob's a jerk. What did I got? You got 10 for your first mission. I know. Right? <laughs> That's just the way it is now. <laughs> like, do you, want us to, do you want us to accomplish a mission or not? In 10 in units, what are Can we I doing? Can I finish the card now? Sorry, no, bro. We hate Bob. Bob leaves the room without further ado. <laughs> Am he's, I reading this just, now? He just left. <clears throat> he's like, can I finish, agents? Can I finish? Excuse me. <laughs> and then you all start doing impressions of him. I know, That's right? <laughs> all right. The transfer site. Sam the robot lights up. You are going to visit our Earth in 1419. He's it is personality. the end of the Reconquista in southern Spain. <laughs> Wow, that was like a, like a, like a real-time like download, they, wasn't it? They, that was cool. Data got the emotion chip installed. <laughs> like hey, everybody! <laughs> Two religious communities were in opposition during this period in the Middle Ages, Christians and Muslims. From 914, the Christian kingdoms decided to reconquer the Iberian Peninsula that had been taken over by the Muslims. This reconquest ended in 1492, 
that is only a few decades <laughs> after you your transfer. The personality, personality it's just like went down the, out the bottom of a... You can see on the hollow screen your arrival location Stay in Aragon. Your receptacles are part of a Christian delegation in Christian territory. And who says Christian says faith. This concept may seem strange to you, but religious faith has been omnipresent in pre-transmigration human history. During the speech, your eyes are drawn to the reliquary. Oh, good, because I was falling asleep. Keep going. At its center, blame Sam the robot, baby. At its center, you notice a greenish, almost organic, spongy matter. Ooh. It is hard to drag your eyes away. Ooh, spongy. Ooh. So spongy. Isn't this the stuff I brought back from the last expedition? That's, uh, again, I think you guys are right on point with the whole Infinity Stone thing. All right. Okay, kids, in your casings, you're running late on the official timing. Here are the details of your receptacles. We have three characteristics this time. Dexterity, combat, and diplomacy. Ooh. Four, four, zero. Those are your stats. Okay. All right. Sounds about right. Diplomacy is the ability to behave correctly, to make a good public impression. Yep. Also know that a receptacle can only use one weapon per test per combat. We each have a special ability, but using it requires us to spend one of these. No time units. So we're going to place on them a certain number of these things. When we come back, if we die, these will regenerate the number we can have. I'll let you handle the usual last preparations. Off I go to get drained out at the red light pub. Concludes Sam before leaving. Drained? I don't know what that means. Is he going to go get drunk? Bring Mara back, baby. Final preparations. Place the group's faith table card on Codex 1 and keep the icon reference special rules card close at hand. Why do you look confused? The Just faith table, yeah, okay. Okay, is that the faith table? This is there? the faith table of the top, so. Cool. All right, number two. The four plan cards face up on their allocated spaces. Uno. Ooh. Dos. Wait, there's like nothing on these. Oh. Tres. Oh. There's something on We can go to the beach! Or to the chapter house. Beach! Man, I hate the beach. Put the group token There's on some the beach. warpy cards. Man. Ah, ha, ha, ha. These Where are so it? warpy. Where's that group little skinny Sam is silly. holding it in his hand. Beach. I don't think we need those usually. That's when you die, you need those. Yeah. We're going to need them. You better need them. You All right, guys. number four. The mission successful failed cards face down on their allocated space. And the time token on... Ten TUs. This is really weird. Ten is like nothing. Maybe the, we get point time throughout. You know? It's gonna be one of those things where you jump back at a certain time and then. You think they did the that again? Last time did this. I think they did it again. Shh. We warned you. All right. Anyway. And finally, the item cards on their allocated space. The caissons start up. Laura's <laughs> final words are fading away. How Last come she week. never speaks? I know. What? Before the Kazans power up, lady? Lastly, <laughs> as part of the transfer procedure, <laughs> artifact to the agency, <laughs> agents in the immediate vicinity of the <laughs> must apply the XB2, I'm sorry, the XB42T protocol. I hope you reviewed this protocol yesterday as I advised you to Wait, lucky enjoy the transfer. I don't know. What is it? Fellas, anybody? I, I was sleeping during that class. This is ridiculous. I love how they never ever. Like, you think that's a certain point. Like, we'll do the briefing the day before. <laughs> no, no. How busy are these people? All right. Anyway, we each choose a receptacle. I would take the dumbest looking one. All right, well, here we go. We're going to place him here so we can see him. Jean yep. La. He's an occultist knight. It's She's Sean. a noble Spanish lady. An enthusiastic He's a young noble nun. Spanish lady? She. Uh -huh. This guy's a Teutonic knight. Oh, that's an awesome hammer. Teutonic knight. Teutonic knight. A zealous servant and a conscientious secretary. Mm -hmm. Let's look at their stats. That's going to matter. 
Not to me. This guy speaks all languages. He's the opposite of the dog. <laughs> Every time there's a spoiler, um, I'll just look at the camera. Well, just, just give me the dude with the hammer. I knew that's what you're gonna take. Okay. Just give me the dude. What is he? A, a what? He's a Teutonic knight. I'm gonna take the enthusiastic young nun. And I. Because uh, you said occultist? Occultist knight? Yeah, man, that's happening. How many blues do you get? Jean de Crown. Uh, one. How many <laughs> blues do you get? Blues? One. Also, I get a demon stone, it How says. How many hit points do you get? Three? Is that right? Three yeah, and two yeah. shields? Should I take a more balanced character? This guy is nothing but fighting. Yeah, baby! We're at the beach. There's some people who are lewdly dressed. You! Kill! I will tenderize you! <laughs> Look at his hammer. It really looks like a tenderizing <laughs> hammer. Take him, dude. You can always switch him, bro. You got 10, 10 units. Yeah, we're just, okay. you're basically just sampling the goods. That's true. In this run. You know, you're like, oh, this casing feels, this this body feels weird. I'll come back in a different human. I got four health. All right, so we didn't take these folks. My uh, special ability is... Uh, tank. I can make... Oh, okay. tank. Dude, we are totally a combat team. My special ability is uh, I can discard one to give you both an extra die in combat rolls. Yeah. <laughs> I can discard one of these things. You can do it! Yes! During the combat test, Johan is not affected by the uh, things that do damage back to you. They, he treats them as blank shields. Okay. What do you got over there? Mine says I discard one of the... What, what are we calling this? What is this again? Dedication? Uh, um, power? What is it? I don't know. Just blue tokens. No, man. That's disgusting. Faith. Faith. Okay. It's not faith. Faith. Something different. So... Well, we're going to call it faith instead. No, no. Like determination or whatever, right? Isn't there, I thought there was a name for, for this. Right out loud. Just, just go. I'm discarding one infinity stone. <laughs> that's okay. That's what we're calling them then. It says, Jean removes a whole pile of shields on his face during a combat test. I don't know what a whole pile means, but... <laughs> that's literally what it <laughs> says. I thought you were like... <laughs> no, dude. That's what it says. Oh, you remove a whole pile of these, man. You're good. That sounds so like, meh, meh, whole pile. I think when you have combat, if you have multiples of the same type, you're supposed to stack them up in a stack and resolve them in order. So you can so I think we usually don't do that. I think we lay them out, but maybe you're supposed to stack them? Well, I'll look it up when we get into a fight. Yeah! So, I'm a devoted young man. I was captured by the Moors, but freed by the Knights. And so now I have mystical visions in which I play the leading role in driving away the Spanish Moors. So, event, so essentially, I'm Joan of Arc. Nice. However, if I may, allow me to read this quote to you. <laughs> by God, your ugliness is matched only by your filthy ignorance. Who are you talking to? <laughs> I hate you. Talking about you? Somebody say it. <laughs> Think of, that's what he says to um, someone else. Life probably is a path you. of tears which the, leads us to the light. The proverbial Teutonic Knight, Johann, is an efficient and pragmatic killing machine. He was dispatched by his order to negotiate the best he could the surrender of fortresses that belonged to the Knights Templar. What's your quote? Exterminate them all! <laughs> really? All right. Well, my guy is like a... Uh, he, they call him an infidel, so he's... He pretty much hates everyone except scientists, occultists, and very recently, Fabiola de Leon. Whoever that is. That's his woman, maybe. This is really weird. <clears throat> I know I saw the faith table. Oh, here it is. It was on the back of the thing. Okay. All right. So, it says, determine our faith of the group. We're going to add the number of the Christian faith receptacles and subtract the number of impious. impious. So, is that how you say it? I think. I've never actually used the word out loud. Neither have I. But pious is right by itself. Correct. So it's, but if you put M in, it's, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, Pick so, a way to say it, bro. So it's two minus one, and so our faith what? is we're believers. Okay, so. You have one, he has one, I have the other one. Yeah, you're a bad guy. That's right, baby. My, my title is an occultist knight. What did you think occultist mean? That I, I hate in corners? I would be 
working with you. We are believers. We go together no. like hammers and swords, demons and fight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so right now, if we get this all the way up here, Sam would get a plus two dice roll. If it goes down at all, then Z gets one <laughs> or two. So we're good either way, bro. Yeah, either you killing or I'm destroying. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. This is a good team. We work together, okay? I don't know about that. Yes. So right now we're believers. Um, all right, special rules. So we put that token there. Sometimes our faith will go up or down over the thing. Sometimes when we take an item, we'll have to look at this. The item might cause our faith to go up or down. Interesting. Faith can, can't go above or below the top or bottom, obviously. Some locations can be visited only once per run. So when we leave a location with this icon on it, we need to put it in the box instead of discarding it to the bottom of the deck. Once per run? This is a run, right? Ten time units, yeah. right? Okay, well, we hardly ever go to the same one twice anyway. Maybe you do here. Okay. Anyhow, flip the card over and place it on Codex 4 so you can see the icon reference. Yeah! Designate the first time We're gonna captain. We're going to get flagged for content. If you That's true. Yeah, we, we That's going to be me. I'm the first time captain because I'm the, the nun. I'm telling you guys what to do. Yes. And I'm My saying, liege. Yes, ma'am. He is saying. And I'm saying. I would never start I say, yet. by oh. God, your ugliness <laughs> is only <holding> matched. <laughs> <laughs> it's the beach. We can only go there once. Dude, I love the artwork. Yeah, I do like the artwork. That's, okay, good. Um... You can't keep your eyes off a of dazzling open. Mm. This is like a terrible beach scene. <laughs> um, a dazzling light blinds you, leaving the sound of the waves and the cries of seagulls to fill your mind. Your eyelids finally rise, and you discover the sea stretching out as far as the eye can see and overheading the sturdy fortress of Pensacola. It's not very far away. <laughs> Tell me how to pronounce that name, actually. Uh... Fence. That's not what that says. You get off your suspense, mount. Suspense, the suspense is killing on me. The, on your left, his eminence's luggage are crammed into the back of his wagon. No, 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 no. The name there. That's Penisacola. I'm not pronouncing it any other way. Apparently, it's the new flavor of Coke. Can I see it? Guys are the worst. Uh... No, no, I'm not. No, I'm just trying to pronounce it correctly. <laughs> I don't want to make a mistake we're, here. We're calling it Pensacola. Okay, yeah, I'm going to call it Pensacola, okay? Nobody wants to take a crack at it? No! Uh, all right. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it should be Pensacola. Okay, that's Pensacola. Anyway, on your left, his eminence is luggage is in the back of the leg wagon. The... the Papal legate That's exchanges a few story. words with the crusade. No, In the center, two knights approach our delegation. On the beach, there's some Bedouin tents. And there's the village. Oh, there, there's a couple tents here towards the castle. All right, what, what, where are we going to go? Um, let's see. I'm the nun. What would I do? Would I stay with the wagon? You would be offended at the name of this place. <laughs> I know how it's pronounced, but still don't want to take a crack at it. <laughs> Is it a, it's a Spanish word, right? Yeah, well, because of the accent, it's kind of like saying it. Come on, man! Do. Stick your neck out there! All right, fine. It's pronounced Peniscola. Okay. Okay, Pensacola. cool. Pensacola. Anyway. <laughs> Got it. Anyway. Where are you all going? I'm anglicizing. I'll that. stay with the wagon. <laughs> You're going to the wagon. Um, I want to kill someone. I'm who's who's? Talk to my brother knights there. Got it. Where are you heading? I don't know. Who's everybody? Uh, this is the, the some knights getting like christened over here. We got some Bedouins selling stuff by the the beach. Go check them out. I want to go talk to this cat. All right. <coughs> Take <coughs> y'all cards. What's up, bros? Broskies. Oh wow. Guys, there's a chest here and the guard's like barely looking at it. We can search it, but if we do so our faith goes down. Yes! Take I everything! I am against that! I am for it! 
but we also need two people to do it. My God, your ugliness is matched only by your unwitting nature to steal. Wow, what's in this chest? It's hard to get. Probably nothing, man. Um, Oh, my goodness. This takes so much time. This is not... uh, Wait, we have ten time units, right? Yeah, this this is nothing. He just introduces... uh, The knight uh, introduces himself along with this squire over here. I found a traveler. Um... Coming from, who has come from across the sea, he is, uh, he, he did have a mentor, a Christian mentor, and he invites me to sit down and, and share tea with him. However, if I wish to drink the tea and speak with him, it's going to take two time units, and I will take an item card. Um, he does say that we are supposed to, he, when the legate is ready, we are going to, he's going to accompany us to the chapter house this guy drink the tea wait you just told him literally to drink the kool-aid yeah i don't know don't drink the tea what do i care takes two time units man i don't know about that i only got 10 (laughs) we're going away anyway you having tea time with the people over there is that what it is well you just waste the time talking no i've found that we have would you rather commit a robbery We're here looking for a stone, right? Yeah, I don't think they got it in their backpack. No, I realize that, but... Famous last words. I mean, the only thing I could think of is maybe this guy knows something, but he sounds like he's just... Are you feeling plungerific? What? <laughs> you want to take the nasty plunge? The plunger. The plunger inside. Oh, oh, yes, yes. Uh... I've been tricked before, man. Yeah, I know, right? Wow, this is like the... It's like a sloggy beginning. I don't know what yeah, to I'm do Yeah, I'm going to do it. You're going to do it? You get, it's going to be like a used tea bag. <clears throat> Ye holy tea bag. Okay, this is helpful. Yeah, Interesting. Just in case you're just re- We're being re- recorded. I know, I know. I'm thinking what this is. It's fascinating. He gave me some sort of ointment. Uh, <laughs> just that after a long discussion on the beach, he tells me that he's looking for his friend, a Christian lost from sight too long ago. He then gives me a vow containing some Saint Boniface, or Boniface, whatever, ointment. He adds, in case you meet his friend, give him this ointment, he'll understand. Okay, I can live with that. And so this is, I place one of the blue tokens here, the Infinity Stones, on this card. At any time, you can gain back one ability token without exceeding your maximum. And you take the blue thing from here and add it on your receptacle, then you discard this for the run. So it gives us another one of these, basically. Yeah, but he also said to give it to that dude. All right, well, we... I'm not giving it to nobody. Are we going to stay on the beach? Are we going to the chapter house? Or are we going to keep looking at some on the beach? Um, There's still two locations we did not check. There are. And also we can still rob the chest. Should we not get as much information as we can since we pretty much are low on time? We just prep for the second run? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we know we're not going to solve this. There's no way we're going to get this in the first run. Yeah, so no. we should... Have we know, spent the correct amount of time for stuff? So you guys didn't do anything? Two. We didn't roll any dice or anything. And then we're moving there... Wait, is that where you're going? Yeah, I think and so. And you're going to go here? I imagine. Well, what do I do then? You just come with one of us, I guess. I'm going to go with Sam. And then we spend one time unit to move, right? That's correct. Oh, this actually tells us our mission. Wow, well, I don't know what you're doing out there. We're, this guy's blessing us, giving in Latin. Oh, the legate's been waiting for us. He says, let's go. What I keep running into scary people talking about darkness surrounding me and stuff. Man. Oh, dude, we got this guy. He joined our group. Hey, legate. I keep telling you, fellas. I keep running into people talking about the darkness surrounding me and stuff. I'm a little bit scared. First of all, I'm an occultist. If but this helps at all, whoop, we're pious automatically. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, but I'm about Who feels to, left out now? I'm about to drop a door. <laughs> <clears throat> the beat. Uh, see, this guy is giving me a bunch of glasses of tea, and he's not taking a bunch of time. That's how you serve tea quickly. <laughs> oh my goodness! This guy leaves the group. If if I had robbed that chest, he would leave. 
So here's the deal, fellas. I ran into a blind old man. Slap him. Gee whiz. Uh, after several glasses of tea and other courtesies, you spot a beautifully crafted dagger behind him, and I could easily steal it. <laughs> Why would you steal? You, you were like debating drinking tea with the guy, now you're... No, I was debating wasting time with the guy. <laughs> I would have easily stolen his tea if it had taken less time. I'm if feeling that, like... Though, if you do that, this guy will leave the group. If I steal? Will it make us go down in faith? At all? Yes. All right, fine. I won't steal from the old man. <laughs> um, I can go you get away this time. <laughs> maybe, I knew you had a maybe, good heart. What is your green ability over there? I feel like if there is a pirate Three. king in this game, you Z should, will you, incur a threat. He should be accompanied by... <laughs> he, he should accompany you then. Oh, look look isn't his, he just coming Oh, he accompanies a single receptacle. <clears throat> You're such right. a receptacle man. Each diplomacy test made by the... Oh, yeah, I got plus two, right, so... Man, I could have had a, a sweet dagger. No, 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 each. Diplomacy test, right. Oh, so he gives you plus two. Oh, so we're pious as long as he's... Wait a minute, wait, maybe, he should, maybe he should do the then. Because it, it, does that mean every time you attempt a diplomacy test, you get an automatic two successes? Yeah. Then I should have that, not you. But don't you want me to make, like, awesome diplomacy tests? Possibly, or we can spread it out because... I'm only rolling one dice. You're Forget it, I'm three. stealing the dagger. <laughs> well, we're oh no, the bad ones. He's like, fine. Like, I stole something. He's like, I'm leaving. <laughs> All right, Wait, good. You are stealing something? No, I'm not stealing. Steal you guys ass. told me not to steal. Roll the die. Ooh. I could have had a sweet dagger, bro. Ooh. It was such a told beautiful. You not to drink. It we could never go back to the beach. It was a beautiful dagger. Oh, that was awesome. Great. <laughs> We're now long for this world. We can only go to the chapter house once per run. <laughs> I think it's okay, Tom. <laughs> All right. Dude, there's knights everywhere in this one. Uh, you don't... Did you not know the theme of this? During the... We're like goat stand. herders. Or I was hoping to meet some angels and stuff. Okay. Well, it's later. Later. it's later. It's later. Here we go. <laughs> it's later. Under a blazing sun, you and the two knights you met on the beach enter the castle. After showing you your rooms, your hosts take you to a large, cool room with walls covered in arabesques and azuelos. Azulejos? Yes, there you go. What are those? Where is that? Azulejos. It's tiles, uh, ceramic tiles. Okay, mo mosaics then. Yeah. Okay. Upon your entrance, faces turn and stare. Time stops. Oh, we're used That's to that. That's good. Um, after a nod from your host, conversations resume once again between uh, the different characters. The Grand Master of the Order, Montessa, uh, Romero de Corbe Corbera, turns his eyes towards you and beckons you to approach. At his side, a man with a deeply lined and weary face looks at you scornfully. Oh, I'm going to slap his face <laughs> off. You seem, you seem to I'm have there. interrupted his tirade. I'm there. In the distance, you discover the face of Clement de Gibelin, Grand Hospitaller, uh, who came from Rhodes in the same delegation as you. Can I go slap the man? Do you want to go slap the man? Fine. Who do you want to talk to? The leader? Uh, I'm going to go make sure he doesn't smack the man. No, I'll go talk to the leader. Fine. I just thought... I go to the old guy who came with us. <sighs> Stupid old man. Buenos dias. Is what he says. This guy This guy says he... Tell How do you read so quick? Shut up. <laughs> Because I'm a speed reader. What do you want me to do? How about not a speed talker? That's right. Okay. So for those of you listening, <laughs> I get to take item three. Do you? What? Oh. <clears throat> this guy wants the map. I don't got no map. And maybe it was the map inside the dagger I should have stolen. <laughs> Dude, what's going on with everybody, like, tempting me to steal from them? <laughs> Stop going to people and stealing oh, things. No, but look at this, okay? The guy's, like, talking to me. He's telling me who he is. Uh, that he is, uh... Wow. Very nice. Unfortunately, that doesn't have the, uh... 
Yeah. Blue symbol on no. Anyway, he's telling me what's going on. He's telling me who he is. He's telling me to take a, you know, to take a siesta before uh, we go, this and that. And as he looks away, a ring falls from his pocket. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> My goodness gracious. Oh, man. Why is it you are always the one who's like, all these opportunities to be? I keep getting tempted. We could take an entirely evil party next time. He says that the council <coughs> begins tomorrow and uh, they're trying to find a solution to uh, a smooth transfer of the exchanges of fortresses between the different orders. And he says the council, the, the castle is ours. So this guy has a... He says, siesta before you go to inspect my man and my gift to you that rests in the cool and the stable. So apparently he's got some horses, I assume, for us in the stable. As he looks away again, a ring falls from his pocket. Uh, and someone could... <laughs> someone. Make the test in order to try to pick up the ring. You only get one attempt at it. And if you fail, you're immediately noticed and mauled by Alvaro's men. The would-be thief is going to lose two hearts. And you cannot do anything else until the group has left this location. We don't got that much time left. Does it make us go down in a pious? No. We lose the guy, right? Hmm? I don't even care about that guy. We have almost no time left. Let him steal the, let him steal the ring. Don't mess up. It's pretty <laughs> tough. I don't know if I can do it. Wait. What is your... What is your ability in that? Oh, it's a sneaky one, too. We don't got no sneaky people in our party. I don't sneak. I clank around. I make noise. I don't sneak. Dude, you have to you have to make this test in one, one shot? Yeah, one attempt only? I oh, don't. that's not worth it, dude. You'd have to roll a two and a one. Yeah, forget it. Keep your stupid ring. Or two twos. <laughs> that's true, but you'd have to roll a two. He would roll a two and a zero. Or you would roll two ones. All right, time captain. We got four time units left. You're probably going to roll three. <laughs> Where are we going? Also, if he rolled, that would have used up another time unit. Scriptorium. That's what that I'm thinking, too. Cool. Ah. Yeah, because we know the stables is probably just something this guy's got there right waiting for us, but let's sneak around it, hoof it <laughs> to the scriptorium. <laughs> wow. Smallest room ever. <laughs> wow. After a long moment in front of the scriptorium's door, a stupid... Oh, wait, hang on. You need to roll that first. <laughs> Good job, not rolling. I'm going to punch Bob in the face when we get back. Like, Why did you finish? Shoot, shut up. You gave us ten time in his Ten room. minutes, bro. I had tea for several of them. <laughs> 20% of your time was spent drinking tea. Mm. And so there's this guy, Bob, in the future, and I hate him. <laughs> and the guy's like, uh, what? <laughs> After a long moment in front of the scriptorium's door, a stooped monk in search of his bunch of keys looks at you suspiciously through the half-open door. Is this door never closed? Well, come in. If you are here, it must be for a good reason. The man turns around and wanders over to his occupations. You then enter a poorly lit room filled with shelves piled high with books. On the left side, a table is crammed with parchments and books of all kinds, and a human skull is used as a paperweight. Fantastic. On the right side, a young monk stands working at his lectern under a candlelight. I would like to go feel up the skull. I'm going to go with him. You want to watch me? Z? To keep him from stealing. Yeah. Got it. I'll talk to the young monk, because... What do we got? Man! Yeah, baby. We need to steal, clearly, okay? There. The game keeps, like, telling us to steal. Yeah, but here I'm, like, allowed to, like, look over the guy's shoulder and see what he's reading. Does it drop our thing? Yes. Does yours? Yes. Of course. Let's be bad, baby! Everything is Our bad. next run, we're going to be straight evil. <laughs> I'm just saying, clearly, they keep telling us steal, borrow, and don't give back. This one also, I mean, there's a chest which we can try to force open. 
what that's what we Look, are tasked to do. We're not going to be able to travel anywhere else anyway. I know, but we can't make. Is it a single shot, or can we do this more than? It just says you can try to force open the chest. Let's yeah. do it. All right, time unit number one. So we both roll. You roll your number. Two. And I roll mine. Yeah. And right, Tom. Both... Yeah. Does this go down? Yes. <laughs> Get out of here, he runs nerd. Out. <laughs> oh, does he? If if we ever do one of these things, he goes away. It says that doesn't seem right. He leaves the group if. Oh, if you make a test. Okay, so he. So maybe I should not do it. I oh, mean, let him go, bro. Dude, we got to get out of here, stuff. nerd. This is the guy we're supposed to be. Uh, we'll get him next time. Oh my goodness! All right. <laughs> Come on, Sam. Don't fail me now. Good job. Man. <laughs> we can't even. Steal. I told you we should not do this. Last time. Let's go for it. Oh, okay. I'm reading over his shoulder. I told you! We're so bad. Yeah, but I read over the guy's shoulder. Yeah, well, it's probably just like a, a note to his girlfriend. Turn my phone off. This guy's talking about a vision. His hand, the one that fell was hidden, will be found by the adversary. Oh, I see, I am the scribe. Well, I'm glad that I did this once, because I'll never do it again. <laughs> there's there's, there's got to be something in there. Fine, there might be more clues to it than that. Okay, I looked at the first letter of each line. <laughs> I've been playing too much Escape lately <laughs> of the puzzle room things. I mean, the last letter of each line, first letter of each sentence. It's like a, the stone is coming type thing. It's just, I don't know, but it doesn't matter because we're back to see Bob. Man, I hate that guy. Bob says, hmm, it seems like you have a little trouble with the new TTD guidelines. It's only natural. It can be unsettling at first, but it does allow a real energy saving, increasing the success level by 8.42%. Bob's your... nose is bloody because I just punched it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, snuggle up in your cases. We'll relaunch a transfer. So we reset the game. We got 20 time units now. Woo! Now we get to do some things. That's it? It says do everything except number five, whatever that was. On the setup? Number five, where is the setup things? That was in the base, right? Yeah. Oh, put the time token on 10. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Who are we choosing? Well, clearly we need to be evil, so... Um... I'm switching to the noble Spanish lady, who is evil. Someone needs to be really good at sneaking, by the way. I got, oh, I got four in diplomacy and two. This guy is, oh, by the way, I will say that one of these two, and I can't remember which one it was, I think it was Francisco, that, that treasure chest, he can just open it without making the, the test. And he automatically passes a dexterity test with his super ability. How many of those does he get? Two. He has four. That's his stat, also. Take him. I'm staying with. Is he good or evil? <laughs> he's good, though. He's good. I know. Is he good? He's a conscientious secretary. Could anything sound more boring? <laughs> I'm sorry that yes. you have a problem with people. Let being me look at his quote. A Hold conscientious on. accountant. Sound. I'm like, when the sun rises, it's for everyone. Oh no. It says, I'm looking for a new version of the Opus in Honorum Sancti Crucis Conditum. Who's Jean de Creon? That was my dude. That guy secretly, no, yeah, he like openly likes her, and I just like, I'm, I'm toying with his emotions. I'm a jerk. Don't do it. Please don't do it. Don't make it creepy. That would make it creepy. Okay, I'll go with Francisco you know you both here. Will act it up. I would not! <laughs> yes, you would. Look, baby, we're back at the beach. I got two of these also. But I only have two life. Where are the hearts? Oh, Inside your chest. <laughs> All right, where's everyone going? Okay, we don't need to go get the tea. Well, maybe we, the tea is a waste of time. Oh, the tea time. gave us This one's a, a, a thing, or anything. Though. Don't forget. A jeweled dagger. I'm going to steal that dagger this, this straight This is nothing, up. right? It's nothing. This gives us the dude. Yes. And that's the chest. So you should go here. I'll go see the dude. Okay. And I'll get him for my follower. You're going to get the dude? Yeah. Why? Because I'm not going to do bad stuff. That's right. Oh, oh it's just him. 
Or if we Got drop it. Well, actually, we're at Believer, but. I and, believe oh. I can steal. Yeah. yeah, let's go. Wait a minute. If we ever slip into the evil thing, he leaves as well. Yeah, but as soon as he comes, we go to Pius, remember? Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, okay. So many bad things is gonna happen. I'm gonna steal everything. Give me item one. Here you go. Here's your nerd. Thank you. Friend. Okay, so we're pious, but now we're virtuous because I'm uh, stealing. And now we're gonna drop again because I'm stealing. Are you? No, I don't think you need to. Let me see. Hold on. <clears throat> oh, wait. We need to spend a time unit for me to steal anyway. He's been waiting for me. And now he's ready to go. Do you want to move anywhere else? Because remember, you can. We're gonna spend a time unit for me to steal. Um. Oh, I don't think we want to spend that. So place. yeah, no. So what it says oh, is you went there. We would need multiple agents here, first of all, right? Two agents, but it says if Francisco is at the very bottom. If Francisco is on the space, he can take alone items four and five without making the tests. But we drop the faith anyway. I want. I want. But. That five item is the item that that dude wanted at the chapter house. Cool. That's four and five. And I am Francisco. All right, I'm dropping one to make a test. Are you guys going to move anywhere, or there's no point to it? Should I just make the test? Okay, it says whenever we go to the infidel or heretic, that's when he goes away. Not if he just drops into the thing. And the penitent is fine? You need to stop speed reading these things. Hey, man. <laughs> Pay attention. Hi! <laughs> It's the end of the Lumen Fide. Okay, what is this? I have stolen the weapon. Sorry, guys. Sinner! I couldn't help myself. It's a beautiful jeweled dagger, I think. Is it? I would just like to say he mocked you for wanting to steal the I know. This time. I know. A dagger! I get plus one of my combat I, rolls. however, am following the storyline of the, of the mission. Oh, so I am too. Okay, so <laughs> I this thought, is what I've got, guys. I got the <laughs> this is four. A copy of the Papal Bull, lifting the vow of silence from Lord whatever, and the plan of Acre. Whatever that is. That's the thing the dude wanted in the chapter house. All right, let's go give it to him. Let's go to the chapter house. Yeah. We had the best. Where's that? Now wait a minute. Did. For you to make that roll, we use the time unit, right? Yeah. We so started at right, 20. I spent one to make the roll, now we're at 18. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. No one would ever accuse us of getting rules no, wrong. No, anyway. people aren't that petty. I know. Um. Thanks. What does that cat want? I'm Did this guy what, give us anything last time? He gave us that. Oh, yeah. Someone needs to talk to him. And I'll go... Again, I'll follow the storyline. I'll take the legate <laughs> to speak to the leader. Lame. <laughs> Come on. I'm keeping the storyline going. You guys are the ones having fun. Hey, by the way, this says, if I lose this thing, I will lose two health. I'm frog marched. What does frog marched mean? Frog marched? Does that mean they... Are you sure you want That's to do that? That's twice. If it does it again, we yep. have to stop playing. It's not going to do it again. Uh, what did you say? Frog marched? Yeah. yeah. It's a single I'll, word. I'll look it up. Go ahead. Just I think if I like, get on the all fours and they walk you out. Give me item three. This is so weird, man. I'll hey. just put it on the map. Yeah. Frog marched. I'm looking it up. Okay. <clears throat> I'm oh, practicing. So I, I, should I try to reconquer the city upon my return from the Holy Land? Oh, this meeting is only a pretext. No. It says, force someone to walk forward by holding and pinning their arms from behind. Oh. So you are basically being arrested, I believe. I oh, it, sounded that way less, it sounded way less, it sounded way worse than what it is. Oh, well, here it goes. To seize from behind roughly and forcefully propel forward. Frog march to Mount Yes. Yeah, I'm not staying on the ring. It's too dangerous. <clears throat> and I'll be frog marched and dead. I will point and laugh as you do. <laughs> I'll be like, I thought we were on the same. <laughs> You're being frog marched. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like you. Can exchange here with stone? Is anyone like really good at dexterity? All right, so tests? I'm doing this thing. So I, I accept oh, his proposal. Is. I give this up. That dude has a really big head above his hairline. Yeah, baby. He's a Neanderthal. <laughs> and then I'm giving up item five, and I get item twenty. Nice. And that was a good thing you just did? I gave him a map. You're such 
a good guy. I wonder if we're going to get to a point where we don't have to go boom, boom. I got the scroll of Antioch or something like that. Ooh. I don't know. Antioch is definitely the right. I know that one. It starts, thus, when Lucifer was thrown into the abyss. So I'm on board already. Okay. But you're uh, a good character this time. You... I am? Yes. Oh, no. Oh, I'll read it. Bob, I want out. Here, read it. <laughs> Wait a minute. This is... I'm clearly putting together a thing here, right? This is like a made-up part of the Bible. Lilith was Adam's first wife. And she grew wings and left. And God sent three angels to bring her back. She refused. So God said her children would die at birth, but she then met Samuel the demon, lived with him, and his name became Adam Belial and taught her the powers of the stone. I don't remember reading this in the Bible. You haven't read about the Infinity Stone in the Bible? Definitely one of those things that got left out, apparently. Yeah, it's it, it's a book, but it's not. It was not canonized in the scripture. It was it was part of the uh... Gen Exodus. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, I think we can agree that going to the scriptorium is a waste of time. What are we? Where are we going then? That guy told you to, he had a gift for you at the stables, right? He told. Sam, that. Let's yeah. go. All right, let's go. Want to do that, Sam? You go. We go in the stables. Yes. All right. Let's go. Oh, made up for it. What is the deal? I got a one last time. I'm averaging okay. Horrible. Ooh. That's oh. It. Whose choice was this? Is this my choice? Well, I don't know. Or does it matter? Well, whose go is it, you mean? Yeah. I don't care. Go ahead. Well, it does. Well, just in I'll case. Start with you. I think the chapter house is probably my go, so it's yours. Okay. I note. got a dagger. It says, note, all of you must visit card B before going to the other cards. We have to. In this vast stable, three knights of the Order of Santiago stand guard around a beautifully crafted wagon. Beautiful could the wagon be. Anyway. Looks like a jail wagon, doesn't it? It's a beautiful wagon, though. Behind the gratings of one of the wagon's doors, you see the face of an old man who beckons you to approach. Uh, I learned from my parents to not do that. Stranger danger. Come here. Stranger danger. Approach me. I don't know you. I'm not he old. He rolled his R's. He's evil. Approach me. <laughs> from the back of the carriage emanates an intoxicating fragrance, a subtle blend of musk and myrtle. This is the, this, this is the. <laughs> It's no. this 1419's version of one of those vans down by the river. <laughs> Pretty sure that's what's happening right now, man. Not doing this. All right, well, anyway, we all have to go here. The knights are drunk. They draw their weapons and approach. One of them shouts, go away or you will pay for it. Another says, ask them to bring us some more plonk. Raul probably collapsed before finding the reserve. Do we have item 10? We can immediately leave this location. Oh, do we have item 10? We do not. What is, is it they want booze? Is that what item oh, 10 absolutely. is, probably? Or we can fight them, but whoa. That's a lot of bad guys. That is a lot of bad guys. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have to leave the location now. This, I mean, the stables? Yeah. Did we not talk to the dude? They're drunk. No, 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 but did we not talk to the guy? Oh, you know what? Item 10 is probably that ring. Maybe. I don't remember. No, when that's that's probably what no, that's probably what it is because it says if we have item 10, we can we can talk our way out of this. How about a dagger? Enough throw. <laughs> well, you can kill them, right? Bro. <laughs> well, you can kill them, right? I'm we'll just right. sit over here and watch you. Kill them. I no, don't. seriously, what do you got? You got four attack? Yes. Slay them I'm all. I'm not affected by the two black hearts in that row if mm. I use this. But all the other things I would be. So these are in by. stacks now? Is this like a new thing? I don't remember this whole stacking thing. Because they've never done that before. Break no, two. No, they have. We yeah. just we just did them in a row. They have. So that means there's. I don't understand this. Does this mean? We're we're all here. There's so three we all skull go. shields, then five skull shields, then two hearts. 
Mm-hmm. We can't beat these guys. They're gonna they're gonna like murderize us all. Murderize. Um, He's gonna tenderize. Well, how many are, what are you rolling? One. One. Okay, but I don't actually understand this because it says three, five, and two. If this was, if they are all skulls, wouldn't it just say eight? No, because there's some some characters that can, can my character, my previous one, could get rid of a stack. Yeah, one stack of things. So he would be. I getting believe rid the of words the, were a whole pile. Yeah, a, a, whole, a pile. whole pile or whatever. Yeah. Why did you bring that guy? Because you, I would be in love with you and have to like make googly eyes <laughs> at you the whole game, man. It'd be creepy. I don't think we can beat these guys. Do you? How many dice are we rolling all together? I'm rolling one. That's the thing. I'm rolling two. Don't forget, if you fail, so you take the hearts. Well, you rolling, don't, but we do. We're rolling seven. Yeah, and we take the hearts. And if we roll any skulls, we add the number of skulls to that too. That's which means that's we're murder. dead. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not doing this. Let's come back if we need that ring. We we'll come back with that guy, that guy, and another guy with combat. We probably do. This is like the hardest test I, I think I've think ever seen, combat-wise. No, you softy. Right. Didn't you fight that demon? Well, in the water? but because we want to. I will be back for the musk. Well, take us to the underground the passageways. This is where we're going. Okay, that's all you. I just wanted to show him my hammer. <laughs> Does anyone have any stakes? <laughs> I can tenderize. Tenderize. Ooh. Where are we going here? Things. That's the only place left. What? By a fight of well, deeply we use worn a, we use a, oh, roll? We didn't. Hang on. Nice. Wow. We penetrate Bob's the bowels of the castle. The Very plate. quickly, the tunnel splits into two. The first one seems to sink deeper towards the sea. We hear crashing waves in the distance, and the walls drip with saline moisture. The other tunnel opposite you leads to a row of filthy cells. Yes! On your right, there's I'm a vaulted room that apparently is disused by the... If the cobwebs or anything to do, buy it. Go by. There are traces of footsteps in the dust on the ground. I wonder what he hears in his head when he speed reads. I know. Awesome. On your right, there is a vaulted room that is apparently disused if the cobwebs are anything to go by. No, I understand what you meant. I did not say that, though, did I? No, not even close. It was something about robots. Where are we going? To the sea? To filthy cells? Or to the vault? He's not wrong. <laughs> I love filthy cells. Um, I think I'll go to the vault. Hmm. Uh, oh, guys, that's... I'm screwed! <laughs> this is... Sam, you went to the wrong place! Ooh, I got items 10. I got item 10. Really? That's yeah. what we got it. Okay. You push the door. That's really creepy. Guys, I'm, 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 I'm in trouble. Do we have trouble. that guy? I get items 7. That's Michel or something? Yes, I do. I need you over here then is the idea. Uh, it I doesn't matter anymore anyway. You got item 10? Seven and ten. Guys, we're gonna get a tombstone. Ten, and that's seven. <laughs> is ten a big bag of money? No. It's more alcohol. That's what I told you. Oh! And a key. Ka ding! Uh, so basically, I found um, a, a dead knight of the Order of Santiago. So the same guys that were in the stables. Uh, and he had been recently killed. Who was recently killed? An order of San, uh, a knight of the Order of Santiago, which were the guys in the in the stable. Right. Um, okay. Guys. Here's the thing. I found this really. I found an old emaciated man chained up in emaciated. a cell. What did I say? Emaciated. Emancipated. Emaciated. You're right. Emaciated. I'm Emancipated. sorry. Emaciated. No, that's a different thing. That happened first, and then they didn't feed him. <laughs> yeah. Because of the, I've been emancipated. <laughs> just carried around a bark. Yes. Anyway, he is... Just At first, I'm just like, okay, it's an old man chained up in here. But then, like, when he recedes into the back of the cell and it's dark, his eyes are glowing. So I'm a little scared. Is he a cat? I think he might be possessed. And oh, it says... That makes... No, not more sense, but go ahead. So there's two options here. If that guy is in this space, we would reveal this card. The other option is, 
if that character is not in the group and I have item four, which I do, I would reveal this card. And neither one of those two things is true right now. Meanwhile, guys, I'm getting skewered. So if you want to show up there. Close the door. As much as I would like to use the dice tower philosophy here, <laughs> this has a lock symbol. Ah. You want some help? Oh, you're dead. I know it. What is the deal with why where did, you are? Why did we send the lady off by herself? Mostly because we didn't because know what was you there. Went here. We didn't know what was there. Why didn't you come with me? You should have gone here. Z, Z should have gone there, and I should have went here. Why? We I, don't know what these places are before we flip them. Now well, you we should have had the foresight. <laughs> All right. So I'm not helping you, but you are, I assume. I, I'm like saying, eh, everything's fine, guys. Am I going, what's here, Sam? Uh, that's where I just got these two. There's nothing else there's there? A, there's a dead body in there, yeah. There's nothing there for you to see. He doesn't want to die because he's a wimpazoid. There's a dead body. Maybe I can bring it back. There's no way for you to So we're all, we spent a minute already? I did. We're moving and you're fighting with that um, minute or are we yes, not moving yes. with that same minute? Please don't roll a skull. Hey! Mazel tov! How far down do we put you when you die? Five time units, I think. Seven. Seven. Oh, you're, you're fine. You'll be okay. Okay, then we spend another no minute problem. and we, we fight. I, spend another minute, yeah. And then now we fight, yeah. So I need four dice. I have three. Kill him! Oh. Mm -hmm. Dos. You're dead. dead. Huh? I have four health. Yeah, but they do... Okay, so you did how much damage to him? Two. But he rolls as well. Oh, wow. Good job, buddy. Yeah, but then... So to, to you, they do one damage. To you, they do one, two, three, four, five, six damage. Are we sure that's how that works? These are like really hard enemies. Yeah, that doesn't are. sound right. Because normally they had like the blank shields. Mm -hmm. Is there mm -hmm. like a misprint here? <laughs> That's a really bad rule. Huh? I should have rolled better than that. Roll. Oh, Each roll. hit eliminates one shield from the test. Okay, fine. If you, after that, if you rolled at least one skull in the test and the test has at least one skull shield, this causes a rep repost. Reposte? Repost is fun. Repost. Add the skull showing on your dice to those present shield determine the strength compared it to your resistance. This doesn't add to it. This just causes them to hit you back. You know what? I'm still dead. You're right. It just hits you back, and I would lose only one life from that. But right. And I so also saying, lose one life seven. from this. Yeah. So that's two. Yeah. So you lose not one seven, life. seven, yeah. Right, and you're good. ignoring the heart, so you're just Wait, losing I already, one. I have three shields, though. Yeah, but they hit you for six. One, two, three, four... Five, six. So it, it causes a health. Yes. It yes. causes a damage. One damage. Not as bad as I thought. They still killed me, though. Okay. Because it is, And this would actually hurt you normally, but you... Not him, right. Well, I I would have to use this. That's up to you. Do you want to lose a health, or do you want to use it? I'll use it, it or lose it, man. Okay, another time unit. Until... Here we go. Fight. I don't For play. your honor. My lady. Wait, why did I lose one? Oh, because of the... Oh, you sorry. don't need to roll. Whoa. Could you save my life. Okay, guys. So we're not going back there again ever, basically? Oh, I'll go No, back. we're not going back here ever. Yeah, I know. Did we get anything out of that encounter? Bones no. But this is ready. useful to go to, and that's useful to go to with the priest or without the priest. Well, we need to go two. here, Sam, with yeah, that's that cool. guy. I mean, it's just me it's another now. time in it. We might as well all go, right? I mean, I don't well, know. He is I'm deed. <laughs> D E D deed. Right now, deed. I'm smacking Bob in the face. All right, reveal You're this. You're not supposed card. to look at that. Oh, I'm sorry. I looked at it. Let Sam look at it. Yeah. Here you go, Sam. Let the camera look at it. We don't want them to know. Ooh, there's a weird. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, so. Huh? I wasn't on that. Let's try again. Did that work at all? What's with the yell? I don't know. Look at this guy. It, I, don't show him. I think it's just reveal. Oh, by the way, it brings our faith up. Okay, so this is what we got, man. Oh, we're looking for an emerald, son. Okay, we knew it was a green stone. An emerald isn't a big jump from that. Turns his hands toward the ground. He just fades. A he did. You know he did. So what happened? Did you get this anything? I was up, up and we got information. Here, take a little. We'll read it out loud, I guess, if you want. I have waited for so long. No, it's, he's he's dying. He gets sounds. I am indeed the one you are looking for. Why did he get so? It sounds like energy? a character from like Robin Hood Men in Tights. <laughs> I am the one you are looking for. Known for my faith and loyalty, even to my enemies. While defending the Temple Tower during the fall of Antioch, I was defeated by Saul Kahula and the Sultan's Black. <laughs> Kahula! Kahula is coming! <laughs> when the last line faltered, Saul challenged me to a fight to the death. After a long combat, I fell on my knees. In exchange for my life, I accepted his mercy and his pact. I know Saul is still alive and holds the emerald. Cursed be his name! This game is so weird. So Saul Kalula has the emerald? Yeah. Is that what we're supposed to do? Alright, here's the, here's the thing though. There's nowhere else to go to except back to the stables. And now we have the thing that we can talk yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, talk yeah. Plus we can go diplomacy back. test. Yes. Yeah, let's go back to the stables and get those dudes more drunk. All right, roll the big die. Whose go is it right now? I think it's, it's Sam's. Fine, yeah. Uno! That's how you do it, my man. Get this dead body out of here. <laughs> so we're back at the stables, chilling with the horsies. You need to make a three... You need to make a three uh, test okay, on... Okay, so with this guy, I get an auto two. And I have to roll one die, so I have, to roll, I have to roll at least a one, right? What is it? And if you have item ten, you can discard it smack me to around. bribe the guards. Okay. So this is just a one-time thing? No, oh, say that. Can, it doesn't say that. So you he can, can add going. his roll to it, too. Okay. What am I testing here, well, this? I knock you down another one, though. Yeah, well, I got two. I have uno. Drink it! Oof. Drink it! Got it. One, that's, two, that's three. That's one. What was this do? Well, I did. This gives auto two. To only you or do the roll? Yeah, come on. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. So, so I three. got two, so you we got, got one, it. so we got it. Okay. Drink it! We're just these holding their now, faces. <laughs> these guys are now gone. Go away, fellas. All right, where do you want to go now? And we're going to spend another minute to move. Yeah. Well, those guys are beckoning us. You want to you go dude. for the smell or the old cat? <laughs> I don't want to go to the... I'm going to the smell. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? I smell a musk and a murder. Uh -huh. Oh, it's a lady. Oh, it's, it's a lady. <laughs> and she is ravishing. Shh. He's talking to the old man. He just climbed inside the car. Don't do it. All right. <laughs> that was the last we ever Hello, heard of Sam. Stranger. Okay, I don't know if I'm supposed to do this, but <laughs> I've found a dude called named Melchizedek, a scholar, a philosopher, and a prisoner. I want mm -hmm. to get back to my family. For pity's sake, get me out of here. Okay, so hold on. Uh, I found a woman who was who is the favorite of the regent Ali Al Amin's vizier of Granada. She was kidnapped by the Order of Santiago. She says, ask the old Jew to open this door. He is the only one who can do it. Free me, and I will tell you what you want to know, for I know who you are, and you are dying to know more about me. I don't like the word. That sounds like a line, dude. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. This just, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> we just turn into a James Bond movie? Dun, 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 dun. Okay, well, I'm going to use my gold key. What you have. To release Melchizedek. And I take the... Oh, and he comes out. <laughs> turns take the gray one. We can go, yeah. Uh, uh, we take oh, the gray token. No, take the token, okay. Oh, good. That's the first token we've gotten. Uh, Ever. Once the man is released. So we release him. Okay, the man's been released. Great. What about you? I don't know. She says that... They must have... 
something to do with one of these, but she doesn't tell me anything else. Fine. All right, let's go back here. So we are you going here? We all have to go to this one. Yeah, we all have to go there. And that means all of us! Ah, he comes back from the dead. Hello! <laughs> um, okay. Hello. You released the old man on the orders of Lord Alvaro. I infiltrated the Granada Palace as an astrologer of the vizier and regent Ali Amenez. What do I want to learn more about the stone? This is how I became aware of the existence of Yasmina the Dinayaya. That's, that's her. her Thanks answer. to my knowledge of the Kabbalah, I managed to control her. That's why Alvaro locked me up here. Come on, follow me and let's free her. You will see she's very talkative. He heads to the rear of the carriage. After a few words in a strange tongue, Open sesame. It's English. It's strange to us. The door opens on its own, revealing Yasmina. If Michael de Ale is with the group, we are. He is. Immediately reveal this card. Oh, that doesn't look good. And die. It's a big red <laughs> box. Oh, I love this. All right. As a woman em emerges at a supernatural speed, he steps between your group and her, forming a cross with two fingers. Bado retro satanas. If you could stop these stupidities, the woman replies. Only your agents can believe in them. Instead, you should confess we are all here for the same reason and admit the consortium doesn't like competition, especially with the science. Silence! Come on, let's continue our mission and ignore this madwoman, says the legate, who orders you to follow him. Indifferent to Daela, Yas Yasmina looks at you. He will never acknowledge it, but he's an agent too, and a receptacle like you. I am a scion, one of the famous big villains, and a receptacle just like you. Now the choice is yours. No one will ever know. Allow me to come along and let's continue our mission. He cannot cohabit with her. Either we keep him or we discard him and take item 12 to recruit her into our group. We then will open location two without rolling the die. Or chapter two. Okay. Oh no, open location two. Sorry, location two is in here, sorry. Either way, we keep him or we kick her or we kick him out and take her and item 12. Isn't the scion, weren't the scions the, the group that we were supposedly working against back in the yes. Prophecy of Dragons or something but like that? Tom Vassell, who is the guy in the receptacle, believes, is starting to believe that maybe they are the good guys. We've had this discussion before. Uh, I'm, I'm, this cat is boring. <laughs> He just saved us from getting our tails kicked. All right, let's follow the rabbit hole. Let's see where it goes. See you later, priest. She's gorgeous. Thanks for helping us talk our way out of that. Okay, she's an ally. As soon as we get this, we become heretic. I am officially against this! Actually, I'm a good guy this time, too. Yeah. Anyway, she transferred into a mission and ankle to yours. Okay, she's looking for the stone. Um, she's a genie. Demon. She can send an enemy on fire and turn him into ashes with a simple breath. Blam! Baby, I want that power on my team. I'm we sorry. We put two in the card. Anytime during combat, you can discard one of these to roll a die without spending any time units. Okay. Each hit removes a whole pile. Oh, I wish we had her when we got those guards. Oh, you're drunk? Guess what happens to alcohol? Boof. Starts on fire. <laughs> Although, if we ever, if we roll a hit point when we, if we use, if we roll the skull when we do that, though, we all lose one health on that space. Ouch. She sets us on fire by mistake. <laughs> Great. All right, so we immediately go to... So 12, you said location 2 or item 12. I forgot everything it you said. It was location there. 2. It's as we immediately go there... Without double check the card before you put it away. Was it location two or item twelve? You said both things. Yeah, it was both. It's open location two without rolling the die. She is item twelve. Yes. Okay, got it. There is a location two in here. I'm sure there is. That we can never go back to. Um, what just happened? <laughs> Everything's on fire. This is location two. Yes. There's people falling off the thing here. Tell us what's happening, Sam. Uh, yeah, go ahead. You are still in the stable when a flaming arrow pierces the knight and ends in Melchizedek's chest. Oof. I like the guy. The horses bolt and rush out, dragging the wagon in their wake. An immense clamor rises throughout the forger. Shadows appear from all sides, slaughtering and massacring the garrison. 
on the staircase of the courtyard, the sentries are fighting to contain the black guards emerging from the underground passages. Those are the guys we just whooped up on. Why are they still there? Uh, in the it's center, warm. the portcullis of the castle has been lowered, thus preventing any chance of escape. On the right, frightened horses flee the fire, raging in the stable and appear to be uncontrollable. So yeah, this was a good idea. Well, I no, we would have went here no matter what, if oh, okay. we'd chosen her or not. But now we've got we have to the go Phoenix here first. on our side. That's what that means. Or someone has to go there, right? I think that's right. Someone has to go there. Right, because right, it doesn't show all of us going there. So the exclamation point, at least one agent has to go there. Well, we were going to probably go to all three anyway. I'll, I'll go there. I, I want to go to the horses, because that seems the least likely to get killed. Or well, do you want to go there? I think the horses... Which ones are the horses? Is horses the, is the one over there, the fleeing the, the stable. Yeah, the, the last one in the middle is the horses. Colors. Okay. Yeah, I'll to go to the middle, you go to the horses if you want. I got more... I have a dagger, you don't have a dagger. And also okay. I have two health. So you want me here or here? I should go here in case there's a fight. I can survive okay. it better All than right. you. Maybe. It's some frightened horses. Yep, two black cards. Oh, this is good for me, actually, yeah. I can open the portcullis. I have to fight. Okay, that's good that you went there. What about you? I'm trying to calm, calm the horses down, which means I use this. Which is good, because I am I have a very high... Do you get this high. token if you do it? Yep. Good, because I get, I get the other token from mine. All right, let's do it. So we're spending can, one... What is this I can do it automatically here? if I discard this. This means a pile of shields, I guess. I'm discarding this, and I pass automatically. Is that a... That's my power. Dexterity test? Yeah. Right? Yeah, dexterity where's the... Test. I need a dice. I'm going to... Where's the... My test is also passed. Yeah, baby, we're doing things, Sam. Uh, we go together okay, like... Okay, so... How's it over there? Horses. Let's see, well, I've got uh, five skulls, <laughs> one heart. So I got six, I got a beat. Um, I could use one of these and roll a die. Burn them to hell! <laughs> That's and true. No, here, listen. This is what I think, Sam. I think we have to be careful because we're so few time units left. Yeah. If we don't find this card, which is really the last card in this location, yeah. we're going to have to go back and do all this over again with 30 time units. And Bob, so I'm going to punch you in I the go face. Ahead and use one of these? By Bob, it means Z. One of these things? Yeah, burn them! Use one. Okay. You know you want to do it! So I'm going to use one. Wait, Lost. before you do that, because you're, we're spending a, a time unit here to do this stuff. Oh, no, no, you're doing it at the same time we did ours. Yes. Never mind. Go ahead. All right. So it's nothing. But you she, can still fight. She didn't do any good. <clears throat> and that was Nor a very you. bad roll. So All right, so you guys hit for a one. Well, two, unless you spend your token. All right. All right, so now, before you roll again, do we go help him fight? <sighs> or do we go here? Or we all have to go here? Man. I can't leave. That's a lock. I can't leave until I so beat So we all have to go over yeah, here and fight? We can't fight, though. All right, Wait, go ahead. We're just showing up. Why can't you fight? Oh, we're just showing up that, with this that was minute. Yeah. Two more. But you also Two dropped. more brings her down to... Oh, wait, I didn't, I didn't use this. I should, I should use this Yeah, again. go ahead and use that first. Why not? I should use that again. Although, if you use it badly, you're going to die. Okay, so anyway, you hit her for two more. So she's at three. She's at two health left. So she no longer hits you. Why? Oh, no, she hits you for one heart, though, right? Yeah. Yes, because I can't use this. All right, this. so Sam is dead. <clears throat> Which I'm, I'm out for the count. So we shouldn't have gone there, because then we could have gone here. But does that still count as everyone? Yeah, because he's no longer with us. Oh, well, we went there. What can we do? Okay, so we spend another minute to fight. Yes. I hate you so much. What were you? So much. How much is your health? You have one? One, yeah. And you have one attack? I'll yes. go first because I can, I can take it better than you. Do it. You're both together at Two. the same time. It's simultaneous. I need some dice. Hey, roll. 
Yeah. You just hit one. Get one. <laughs> I want it to feel powerful for a moment. Ooh. Blam, son! I don't mess All right. around. All right, so we killed them. Yeah, so and now, then we move and... Well, we move here and reveal it. Let's hope it's... Oh, okay. You barely managed to escape from the castle, oh, ravaged really, by barely. flames and never-ending waves of black-clad warriors. Melchizedek, mortally wounded by a Saracen arrow, releases the rain. In his last breath, he painfully indicates you the way to Granada and advises you to first go to the Priory of Father Roderick. Now we open Chapter 2 and read the instructions on the back of the first card. But... No, we still go there. It doesn't. It doesn't. It just says open the deck and read it. If it's a new location, then we're done. In the back of the carriage, going at full speed down the tracks, you find a portable time converter that immediately gives you ten time units to be added to your current total. Yeah, baby. This puts it here. Okay. I think you were. It's seven away from where they normally is. No, we were at... We were at yeah, but we were like... At we were at two when you died. Two when you died. So that's minus seven, so you're at five. Okay. All right, so here's what we need to do. Keep everything as it is right now, to the exception of the, of the state tokens that you must discard. So we need to get rid of this and replace it with this. Right. Get rid of these and replace them with the new ones. That's a lot of locations. Then place one black guard token and the group pawn on the Aragorn space. Ooh, Aragorn. I think it's Aragorn, but... There it is. Go. Place a second one on location I'm go find the dude 11. They can probably help Put us. the black card face down on codex 3. Is that face down? Yes? Yes, it says place it face down, turn it over only when the black guard and the group are in the same place. Okay. If several are in the same place as you encounter them one after the other. Um, place one yellow on the current degree of the faith table so as to remember it in case of a new run. Okay. Read aloud the Al Andalus card. Put away chapter one deck. Okay, I'll do that while we're doing it. All right. While moving through Al Andos with your wagon, do not spend time units according to the standard rules. Instead, follow the five steps below when you change location. First, leave the current location and set it aside. Choose and move to a new location. Move the black guard, roll the time captain die. Open the new location, change the time captain. Place this card in Codex 2 when you've understand these rules. It'll be a while. <laughs> I'm like, ah. Uh... Uh, I can't uh, lie. I can't place it there yet. <laughs> Wait, there's more stuff here. Okay, there's actually detailed stuff on the back. So first we pick where we're going to... We move a group from one location. We have to follow a road. Okay, fine, yes. Okay, they're interrupted by obstacles. It costs... Um, it costs time units equal to the number of locations and obstacles met, including the actual destination. So if we go to location three, it's going to cost us two. Got it. One, two. So pretty, pretty simple, really. Right, okay. Um, so we can even go through a location without stopping. So we could go here. It just would cost a whole pile of time units. Sure. Except, I guess, that there's a mandatory. The black guards block your progression, and you must stop every time you meet them, only spend the number of time units necessary to reach them. Then the time captain rolls a die and moves the black guard tokens, the number of obstacles, in the direction of the group pawn, always using the shortest path. Okay, fine. They're coming towards us. So if us. we go to location three or location ten, the chance of him run, run, the chance of this guy running into us is pretty high. Yes. Every time at least one of those, and we are on the same obstacle, we reveal this card and immediately do the effects. That's it. Okay. You understood it. Now I understand it. And you can it. place it here. Where are we now? We're at Aragorn, and this guy's chasing us. Aragorn. 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 What is going on? Man, let's go. Let's this is leg a pretty small deck, though. Here. For as many locations as there are, it's a pretty small deck. They're each a single card. There's, what do you, there's a whole other thing of... Uh, we can put this location <laughs> away now, other, right? Yes, right. There's a whole other stack of, of cards that are still in this... Yeah, this is a chapter, chapter three, three, baby. Right. Lumen Fide. 
My, my concern right now is I don't... Should we run really fast and get away from them? Where are we supposed to be going? We don't know. There's locations everywhere. Let's go to the Priory. Where is that? Okay. But that's going to cost us four time units. One, two... Three, four, yeah. Three, four... No. We have to go here to go there? Yeah. That doesn't make sense. Why would we not just turn that way instead of going up here? No okay, way. Okay, you're right, you're right. One, so three. two, three. True, but if we roll... Okay, time captain Z, roll the die. Let's see if the black oh, cards thanks. get it. No, I thought we were supposed to roll the die. For this guy to move. Oh. Uh, you know what? If, this is, if, you blame, if you blame me for this, oh, I will find no. you. Oh, no. Dude, what is wrong with you? You have one job, dude. I one, failed too. <laughs> ah! I'm sorry. You're working for them, aren't you? Yes! <laughs> the black guards have caught up with you. About 20 howling horsemen throw themselves at you. Scimitar is drawn and ready. I'm good, guys. You guys are toast without me. You're there. No, I'm not. Oh, you're dead. I'm in the back of the trailer, man. <laughs> back of the I'm trailer. Taking a rest. He's taking a nappy nap. Taking a siesta. I think I, how about we uh, just die? Let them yeah, you got it. Kill us. That's exactly what's going to happen. We can't even beat them. No. Because even if I roll my max three and he gets five, they still do two hearts to each of us. And they're a time unit. Yep. So we're just automatically dying here. Where are we? Auto die. Yeah, if we're all dead at the same time, isn't the run over? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. What does Bob have to say about this garbage? Avoid the riders. Bob's voice echoes in your head. Do you copy? <laughs> Boris, relaunch contact protocol. <laughs> Agents, <laughs> your mission has got out of control. You're stuck in your receptacles. <laughs> so we did, did. We can't get you back to the agency. We still have a hold on the transfer time. The TTD must have screwed something up. I know! <laughs> We're trying to fix all this mess as quickly as possible for the time being new run. <laughs> So we keep our receptacle as well as their items and restore the starting amount of everything. Discard any items with this symbol on them. What's I don't the see symbol? that. It's this weird. I, I think it's items we might have got from this run, maybe. I don't know. Okay, okay. Reset your faith degree by putting. Okay, we're still heretics. Oh, that's right. I do get plus two dice, though. So we're stuck with these guys? So if we had wanted to switch back there, people? Nope. Reread card number 79 under setup chapter N79. And follow the instructions. If it's your second run in chapter 2, restart with 20. Yeah, okay, so we have 20 time units. I don't get this whole moving around here because those guards are going to catch us no matter where we go. Yeah, but I wasn't here. <laughs> we could have possibly beat them with my four health, with my four fighting. Man, I don't know. All of us combined. Plus, you're getting two Does extra she dice. get her stuff back? I would imagine it says reset everything, right? Oh, on your receptacles and allies. Yeah. We got fire back! I'm yeah, so glad I'm we didn't bring really that lame old priest. Yeah, smoke, maybe. That's about it, yeah. Riri card N79 under setup chapter two. Is that what this is? Set up chapter two. Just look at the corners at N79. Ah, there it is. Yeah. You pass me some more health, please. So we're back here. I need three health and one of those blue tokens. Thank you. Can I get another one of the blue things? Yes. All right, well, we're going to pause this video here and find out what happens next time. We're going to come back as we're being chased by the black guards. I'm just going to leave that face up because who cares? Now we know what it is. Right. <laughs> big, big surprise with some guards trying to kill I'm us. I'm scared. So what do you guys think of this so far? It's interesting. It feels, feels different, though. I mean, especially with this. It feels different. With the little runny map thing? Yeah. Because... Yeah. It got um, interesting in the last 15 minutes. Right. But up to that point, I was kind of bored. It was yeah. samey. It was samey. Well, that was just... That was like, go here. Now, go here. Right. Like when we first did Asylum, we had all different places we were going to. Like, what's the right order? Right. Here, it was like, go here, go here, get this, go here. I guess I'm just finding it muddy. Like, I don't know what we're doing. It's all just, I'm just, 
reading Oof. a bunch of people telling me a bunch of names and a bunch of things, and I'm like, I did like that when they got to those two people. It's like make a choice. Yeah, that's cool. I'm just finding the storytelling to be so heavy with the detail that I'm losing what we're doing. We're here to find the stone. The yeah, I get stone. that, but do you, like, I have no drive right now. Well, the guys that are chasing us are, work for the guy that has the stone. Okay, that's actually more clear information than I've had from the rest of all this reading. Well, you need to work on your reading skills. Then. Maybe I do. <laughs> all right, well, we'll be back <laughs> in the next episode. Until then, I'm Tom Basil. Bye, I'm Z Garcia. Sam Healy. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.